Hey guys, this is Wright Ralph, and welcome. Today I'm bringing you the game, a game called The Park. The Park is a first-person psychological horror adventure game. It's really, really cool. Developed and published by uh, Funcom. The game was released via Steam on October 27, 2015. Yeah, and is a spin-off of an earlier Funcom game, The Secret World, I believe. Yeah, yeah, The Secret World. Uh, it's a really cool game. It, it, it plays and looks more like an indie game than anything, but it's really not. Um, if you listen real closely, you're going to hear a whole bunch of stuff. My neighbor is building a new house in October because he's an idiot. And they have a 20-ton cat over there in the front yard right across the street from me, and it sucks. So, there's nothing I can do. Windows are down. Uh, I cannot stop the sound any more than I already have. Sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I can't do anything about it. You're just going to have to put up with it. So this is a really cool game, and because it's October, I wanted to bring it to you guys. A spec, uh, uh, definitely, I have another uh, cool game in in um, already lined up for October for my channel that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So, yeah, it's going to be a good month, I think. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Uh, I can't run? That sucks. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, oh. prepare the park for shutdown. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Uh, why can't I move? Okay, I, yeah, that's nice. There we go. That was weird. It was like a glitch or something. Take too much acid or what? <laughs> hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. How did he run in if the gates were unlocked? Were Callum, unlocked? where are you going? This way, mommy. Okay. Man, it'd be a pain in the butt to the water all those. To an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other... Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Uh, what's happening? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Why is it dark now? Oh God. 
Oh, I can run. Yay. Park. What happened here? Stop. Kill him. Come back here, you fucking kid. Run it off and shit. That's fucked up. Stop. Kill him. He needs fucking ass whooping. <laughs> like, straight up. Wow, that's kind of creepy. Come back. What? What? Callum? Over here. Callum? Where did you go? Over here. I think this belongs to Callum. Oh, okay. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> That's fucked up. With that said, it's messed up. What is this about? Uh, I'm not gonna read that. You guys can pause and read it if you want. Oh shit, he's on that swan boat. What a little punk ass kid. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Okay, can I get on here? Come on, mommy. Really? Really, you're not gonna let me get on there? Come on, let me get on the fucking swan. Thank you. I don't know if I want to go in there, especially when the park is closed. Makes it creepy. I guess I have no choice. And his two children. A boy named Hansel. Okay. And a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Uh... What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. What? I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that Whoa. day. Hello, squirrel. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wake I have a feeling that that's not an animatronic. Parents house. I, I really think that that's actually like someone stalking me. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed Hello, without any go? supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Oh shit. 
In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Whoa, what? Why is it shaking? Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Wow, this is a lot longer of a ride than I even... Whoa, what the fuck was that? The, house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. It's a lot longer of a ride than I expected. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I always did think that story was fucked up. Okay, that, uh, hello, Mr. Swan, um, how you doing there, buddy? Yeah, it's ni nice, nice to see you, too, uh-huh. Did not fucking expect that to happen.
Cool. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Wait for mommy! Another accident. This place. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is the teddy bear driving? Why does it have a knife in its eye? Uh, poor teddy bear. Who murdered the teddy bear? It's fucked up. I wonder if that's the kid's bear. This park is weird. It's like... Why is everything separated so much? Too open. Stay where you are. <laughs> this isn't a game, Callum. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. How do I get on it? I can't get on while it's moving. I can't get on while it's moving. Wait, wait, why is it going so fast? Uh, slow down, please. Um, uh, slow down, please. What the? F what in the? Wow, that's creepy as shit. He's gone now? That like legit fucking was like, whoa.
Wow, that's freaking fast. Can I make it go faster? I'm trying to get see if I can get it to break is what I'm doing. Where are you? Yeah, we're Hello. Oh, I remember this. Alan, where did you go? Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thing. Well, there's something in there. Callum, come back here right now! Holy fucking shit, that made me jump, like, straight up. Man, that made me fucking jump. Hello? Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Where the hell are you, Calum? You annoying kid. Where are you? I just didn't know. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. What's this? What the fuck? Definitely took too much acid before she came. Come back. I wanted to play some bumper cars, man. I love bumper cars. Can I turn them on? No, doesn't look like it. You are. <laughs> Wait, why does this have its lights on? I knew it. I'm guessing it's trying to tell me to go this way. Alright. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch-scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, 
Our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. So it doesn't look like you can open doors or anything, which kind of sucks, but... Crap, I have to go all the way around? Oh, thank God. There's something in the booth again. My guess something's going to appear in that seat at some point. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. Oh, damn, that According sucks. to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment. And then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. That sucks. There's that thing again. This is a weird amusement park. There's like no shops. I mean, there has been a couple buildings, but it. I think this is like. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. 
My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Holy shit. Okay, this woman's fucking going nuts. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna vape for a second. Okay. Yeah, this chick. to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. So you're gonna do it now? I guess we are. What the hell is up with that dude? What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Whoa. The witch has it now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Whoa, what the... How do I get out of here? This isn't a game, Callum! Oh, here we go. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. Wait. He doesn't dare talk. I went this way already. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep. Changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. 
I can't save him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. I can help you, Callum! shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. This isn't a game, Callum! Pretty sure he realizes that by now. Why am I stuck? Oh, there we go. Wait, that wasn't there, was it? Callum? Callum! So I can't walk past this thing? <gasps> Holy fuck! I knew that fucking squirrel was on animatronic. I knew it. You Callum? Come back! I'm not playing anymore, Callum! What the hell? The, these are mine. This is weird. I don't. What the? Keep going this way. Hello. Go this way, I guess. The hell? Park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. 
In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Well, here we go. <laughs> Oh god, that scared me. Holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. How, how did it pop up, though? Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Joke's on you, buddy. I saw you coming. Didn't see that coming, though. Okay, yeah, you better run. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. 
I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. I used to have one of those. <laughs> Way back in the day, let's see. Don't care. Don't care. There he is. Come on. While the doors are open. Uh, whoever you are, dude, you have serious fucking problems if you're hanging babies, baby what dolls, have you done with him? dolls from the ceiling. Let me guess, babies. Really? Oh, okay. Don't leave me. How many times do I have to walk through this area? Wait, what's that? Oh. Uh, whoa, okay, now 
it's getting a little real. Making progress. Are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? No, you're not the witch. You're just fucking confused. In there, Calum. don't fucking walk in there. That's a jail cell. Calum. Told you. Huh. Uh, holy shit. Oh God. Oh God. Please tell me he's not there. Please tell me that he wasn't really there. Come on, show. Show, show me. Show me. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Wow, I had no idea that this game was that short. So, did she kill him? Or, like, what? My guess is I think she did. And that's why he still, she was in the office and he was still missing. That's, uh... That's really fucked up. <laughs> wow. And I had no idea it was going to be that short either. I thought that, like, more stuff was going to happen. But, okay. It's pretty good, though. I mean, I would say my suggestion would be to not buy it unless you get it for like $10 or cheaper. If you can get it for like $10 or below, 
preferably five. Um, I say it's worth it. it it's it's a fun little romp. Um, yeah, that's all there really really is to it. It's one of those games you probably play once and you kind of enjoy the story and that's it. I liked it though. It was definitely good for um, the month of October for sure. So anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.